how are you guys doing today? I hope everybody is having a super fantabulous, fantabulousness of a day today. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Gabe, and this is Gabe Loves Makeup, and I welcome you with open arms. I'm so glad that you're here. We, as a community in my little YouTube space, we all love you, and we welcome you, so I'm so glad you're here. Um, you know, pull up a chair, you know, grab you a little snack, grab you a cup of coffee, you know, glass of wine, whatever it may be, because today... I'm super, super excited to say I have never got to try the Natasha Denona Complexion products. So I have concealers. We have found two different types of foundations. We have primer. We have powder. And we also have the, neat, the new I Need a New Rose collection. On top, we're going to be playing with the Natasha Denona Glam Palette again. Um, and I also have a Selena, uh, Selena Gomez, the Warm Wishes um, Effortless Bronzer Stick. So we're going to be playing with that. Um, so yeah, we got a lot of stuff to play with, guys. So if you are interested in any of these things, and if you're interested in any of the Natasha Denona collection, um, you know, then stick around and let's be playing with it together. Started. Um, I have my brows on. I did a little bit of mascara, and I've been doing uh, here of late. I've been doing this Huda um, Overachiever Concealer as my eyeshadow base, and I'm really, really enjoying it. I have it in the shade Cotton Candy, and it works really good as an eyeshadow base. So if you guys have this in your collection and you want to start using it as an eyeshadow base, it works really, really good. Um, so we're gonna start off with the Natasha Denona Face Glow Primer. Um, I'm not gonna give you guys a lot of details about these because they're not new products. They're products that she's had for a while. Um, I will put up some information here on the thing on the screen if you guys want to just read it really quickly. Um, and, you know, but basically it's just a hydrating facial primer. I mean, there's, it doesn't really give much on the box except other than the fact that it's not tested on animals and it's paraben free. But this is what the box looks like. It looks like that. And, um, and this is what the actual product looks like. It has the Natasha written around the top of it. And, um, you get about, it's a, a 1.4 ounce. Um, of course, you know, it comes with the little lid on the top of it. It looks very, just like a very, um, um, very glycerin-y type moisturizer. So I'm going to take a little bit on my fingertips. We're going to take a little bit and we're just going to put it all over the skin. We have two different foundations we're going to be using today. I'm going to actually mix them together. Um, one is the Natasha Denona Face Glow and the other one is the um, Transformat is the other one. So I wanted to, we wanted to try these um, beautiful makeup because let me tell you, i when I got it, I actually, I've already tested the shades on my hand just to see if I'd actually picked up the right shades. And it, if it looks anything on my face like it looked on my hand, then we are going to be in for some good business. Because let me tell you, they are, they look really, really pretty. Both of them do. I mean, you guys know I don't wear matte much, but I mean, but they both look really pretty. But that was nice. It's very hydrating. As you can feel, it's like very, very hydrating. It feels, it's got a very nice glycerin type base to it um it feels a little bit like my bobby brown the bobby brown uh, vitamin rich face base except it's not as thick this one's a little thinner but it but it gives a good punch it does feel really good it feels very hydrating it's got a little bit of a tight to it so i am enjoying that so that's really nice so that's a nice little plus open up the foundation and play with them a little bit so so this is the first off is the face glow foundation um this is what it looks like on the box i got this in the shade 45 it's in the 45 medium and and it's in uh, Sable Cloud is the name of it. It's a neutral red. Um, I will give you guys just a warning on Natasha's um, foundation. I did notice that they are very weird. They have like very um, weird undertones. Um, so you have to really read before you buy them. She's got quite, quite a few shades. Again, I'm not going to go into full detail because this is not a brand. I'm not going to go into the how many shades and all that kind of stuff. You know, I will leave that down below. I'll put, and I'll put some stuff here. It's a glowy top foundation. So it's got like a dewy radiant kind of finish. It's very lightweight. It's not very heavy. Um, you know, this is what the product looks like. It looks just like this. Um, and it actually has like the little cap on the end. So it's a, it's a pump and you actually can actually twist it off too as well. And I'm going to twist off the top. See, it's got a pump and um, I'm just going to show you guys the shade and what it looks like first. I'm going to pump that out a little bit. This is what the shade looks like. It looks like that. It's a little runny on the runny side. Again, it looks like it may be a little bit dark for me, but trust me, I'm getting ready to start with um, sunless tan and um, tanning soon. So 
it will definitely be a beautiful shade once I'm actually tanned. But it looks really, really pretty. I definitely didn't want to get anything that was way too light because I don't like that anyway. And besides, my body is a little bit, my hands, because I wash them so much, they're very, they're, they're very light because I've been like really washing them a lot. Um, so they're definitely more light, but it looks, it looks I think it's going to be a really pretty match. And we're going to make sure of the glow and the matte together. Mm -hmm. It's the Pore Vanishing Matte Foundation, and it's called the Transfer Matte Foundation. And you can see it. I can see the Natasha. It's a white box, so it's a little hard to see. Um, I have this one in the 55WR, and again, it's in a warm red. Um, because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm more, I've got Indian in me, so I definitely have a lot of redness in my skin. So that's why sometimes I get a red, especially if I'm a little bit lighter. But um, this is what the packaging looks like. It looks really, really beautiful. And then on the back of it, it has the name of the, uh, uh, the color of the foundation on the back. Um, this is supposed to be like a more of a matte kind of a finish, like a beautiful natural matte. It's not really a matte matte, but it's more of a natural matte. Um, again, it has the pump on it. Um, you can see that I've already, like, I've tested the, the shade out. But I'm going to do another little swatch here on my hands. You guys can see it. It's a little bit, it, again, it's a little bit more on the runny side. They feel very similar. Um, so the glow feels a little similar to this one. This one just feels, the other one feels a little bit more of a silky, more, it's got more of a, a, you can feel more of the moisture in it. This one, you can feel, you can feel it like it starts off look like it's going to be kind of like wet like, and then it kind of like, and I'm going to move it over this way so you guys can see it, but see how the dry down goes down? It does dry down. Um, so I'm really super excited about these foundations. I haven't been this excited about a foundation in a hot minute. So, um, especially ones that nobody talks about these foundations. Her foundations are never top dom. I mean, I don't know if maybe in the beginning when she first had them that people talked about them more, but I never hear anything about her foundation. So, I'm really excited to try these. Okay. This one, and I'm going to put it on the back of my hand, and then I'm going to take a little bit of the matte one, and we're going to mix the two together, and they look really pretty. This is going to be really, these colors are going to be really beautiful for me, especially whenever we get closer to, um... The summer months liquidy fluidy type foundation i'm going to actually take my refer brush in the number 31 and i'm just going to dip it into the product and we're just going to go ahead and go on into the skin and see how it looks oh really pretty I'm sure that, um, I mean, um, I was going to do one with the glow on one side and then the matte on the other side, but then I was like, well, you know what? I love mixing stuff together, so I just thought I would just mix them together because to me, that would just give me, because I know that I think I'm going to definitely love the glow. I think it's going to be really pretty by itself, um, but I definitely wanted to try them together because I love mixing foundations together. I love mixing a good matte and a good... Um, a little bit of a glowier one so sometimes it gives like this really beautiful um glow to, or this beautiful um finish to it um but it feels really nice guys it looks really pretty um it's given a really pretty almost like a satin look to it um it looks very nice i'm really impressed with this this is a, this is a nice little surprise i think i think this is going to be a big surprise for me because i just wasn't i've never been interested in her complexion products before and i don't know why all of a sudden i just got really interested in them and i was like oh let me try you know because uh, there's so many other new ones coming out but i mean i just thought this they just for some reason spoke to me and then on top of it they were on sale so it was like okay well this looks this looks pretty good now you guys can see it's starting to really blend into my skin so on the back of my hand it looked really dark but you see how my skin just kind of absorbs product so the color is just absorbing really, really well into my skin. What it looks like with both of them blended together. And this is one side versus this side. So it still looks like your skin. It looks really smooth. I don't see my pores. The pores look really nice. I still have a little bit of a, I've still got a glow. Um, it doesn't feel tight or anything. It does, it's not settling on anything or, uh, you know, making it feel like it's going to be, going to settle in anything. Um, it looks really nice, but usually I don't really have that much of a problem with that anyway. But, um, but yeah, it looks really pretty. I'm really liking that. So now I'm going to do a little bit of the glow. Let's do the glow by itself, just on this side. I'm just curious just to see what it looks like. And then I'll mix a little bit of the pour over the match it. But let's just do the glow by itself and just see what it looks like on its own. Because the glow would be typically more my speed. Um, this is something that I probably would wear a lot more 
than um, the other one. But I just, but again, they just, they're both, they're both so pretty. They both feel so pretty. They're not, they're not this heavy. They don't feel heavy or anything. They feel really beautiful. I mean, it's just this beautiful, liquidy, just gorgeousness. It's really pretty. This is what it looks like with both of them mixed together. And this is the face glow alone. So you can definitely see more of the glow. Um, and you can see a little bit, it's not, this one just looks a little bit more matte. So just a little bit more smoother um, texture where this one is just a little bit more, you can see a little bit more. But it's really pretty. I mean, though, I can't really, you know, I can't complain. I can't say anything bad about it. It feels really good still. It's got a very smooth feel to it. Oh, I like that. But yeah, again, it just smoothed it out more. So now it just looks more smooth. It's got more of this really smooth look to it. So I'm not complaining about this at all. Again, there's there's no sunscreen in this product. And, um, you know, but it, um, it, I don't like sunscreen here of late. I've not been really enjoying sunscreen. I prefer it without the sunscreen typically. But yeah, this feels really nice. It goes really good with the brush. So let me just take a little bit of my beauty blender. I'm just going to go over it just a tad bit. See, it just looks so pretty. It looks really smoothed out. You've got a little bit of a glow. It feels very nice. It's got a little bit of a, it's got a little bit of a tack to it because I think it, the primer is still, it kind of got that more of a very hydrated feel underneath it. Um, but then on top of it too, you know, I'm hot in here too. So with the sweater on, it's very hot with all the lights. But yeah, it looks really pretty. I'm not mad about it at all. I'm really liking this so far. It looks really, really, really nice. And we'll see later when we set it with powder what it looks like because, um, you know, we have the powder too. I um, mean, I tried the powder already around my brows and I thought it looked really, really good. So I really enjoyed that. Um, so let's try the concealer and see what we think. for concealer. So I've already used a little bit of the concealer already around my brows already. And I've got to tell you, I used the, um, I used the uh, 5R one and it did a really good job around it. It was very nice. It had a very beautiful consistency. It was very lightweight. Um, I, again, I will put the description of what the product is, but this is what it looks like. They look like this. I have it in the shade 5R and the shade 8R. I got two shades, one a brighter shade and one of a lighter, uh, more of a little bit more closer to my skin tone. So that way, usually I mix two shades. If you guys know that I love my Chanel, uh, my Holy Grail, I always mix the light one with a little bit of a darker one. And it gives me this little bit of brightness so it really brightens up my skin. So I really like that. So I did this. These are on sale for $14. I think originally they were close to $28 or $30. Um, so they are on sale. Again, these are on the Sephora site as well as on the Natasha Denona site. But the Sephora doesn't have as many shades. Most of the shades are out. But on Natasha Denona, they have all of the shades. So just keep that in mind again. And I'll actually, and Natasha Denona shipping is really good and they get it to you pretty quickly. So you're not really waiting too long on it close together. So you, they have the white cap on it. Um, this is the darker one. And of course this is the lighter one. Um, and this is a little bit what the, um, this is what the dead fit looks like. It looks just like this. It's not anything super special. It's kind of like a flat. So it's more flat. So you could just kind of get right up under there. You can kind of hug that eye area and just bring it up underneath if that's what you wanted to do. Of course, you know, we're going to be mixing the colors together today. So I'm going to be mixing, I'm going to take a little bit of the light one. Um, and then we're going to take just a tad bit of this one. So this is what the light one looks like. This is shade 5R. And um, this one is the shade 8R. Um, and so the 8R looks a little bit more peachy. So it's got a little bit more of a peach tone to it. And then the 5R is a little bit more on the lighter side. And again, the shades are a little bit wonky. So definitely make sure that you um, really kind of pay attention to what you might want and what you might want to order. Um, so just with the shades and stuff. So that way you make sure that you get the right shade for yourself. Um, so anyways, so I'm going to take a little bit of my Angie Heart and Flashy. I'm going to mix a little bit of the peach with the light. We're going to mix them together because, you know, we love to mix. And see, this is what the color turns out together. So it turns out like a really beautiful beautiful color. The, the, it's got a beautiful slip to it, so it doesn't feel too matte or anything. Although it says a, it says on the Trend Fix Matte Concealer. And we're going to see when we put it on, but it feels really silky. It's got a very silky feel to it. So I'm going to take it and we're going to apply it right up under here. And we're going to start just a little bit right there because I don't do a ton of concealer because, you know, we're a little bit older, so we don't do a lot. But I do do a little bit more here. 
Um, cause this is where I have most of my problems. And then I just kind of take it and blend it out this way. Um, and just get a little bit more closer to there. Ooh, that's pretty. It's got like a really, almost like a little bit of an airbrush look to it. It looks very, um, um, on the screen, it's got like a glow to it almost. Um, here, it looks like it's just more, just like a natural finish. It doesn't look very, um, too dewy or anything here, but it does feel, it does look like it's got a little bit of a glow on camera, which I do like that. Um, so I'm going to take just a little bit more here. Like a little bit more of a, just a really natural, normal kind of look to it. It's, but on um, screen, it's got more of a radiance. And again, that's probably from like my skincare and stuff. But it does look really nice. Um, but, uh, but I mean, I wouldn't go too ham with it. I mean, or make sure you use a really good um, eye moisturizer underneath it. Because I can tell that it does have a little bit, it does dry down really nice. It does dry down to a little bit more of that natural matte finish. Um, like so many of them do these days, but it looks really pretty. Wow. I'm loving it. I can't wait to see what the powder's going to do, but we've got some cream products to put on first before we do the powder, so we're going to do that before we do powder first. Do a little bit of this Warm Wishes um, Effortless Bronzer Stick. I have seen so many people talk about this. Can I just tell you, it's like, it's been like, oh, oh my God, it's the best thing ever since sliced bread and it's fabulous. So we're going to give it a shot. Um, I swatched it in store and there's only six shades in this. And I think it's around $24, $25. Um, it's, the shades are not that great. I mean, they're like, they're either the two light ones or two light. And then there's like a medium one, and then there the two medium, and there's two darks. But the the two um the two medium ones are like they're okay, but they're like very orangey or too yellow looking. Um, so I don't know. We're gonna play with it and see. Um, this is a very um it's a very unique kind of thing. It does feel very buttery. And um, this is what the packaging looks like. It's it's got a really pretty. It's the rare beauty. It's very pretty. Um, you take the cap off. It has the little stick here. Um, I have this in the shade Always Sunny because the other one's just way too yellow. And this has even got a little red, a little yellow and red to it. So, I don't know. But it does have a little bit of a glow to it. It does have a radiance. Um, but it's just, everybody just keep talking about them. My It Cosmetics, I'm going to take a little bit of it. I'm going to take a little bit on the back of my brush here. And we're just going to tap a little bit here. I don't want to go completely ham on it. But I just wanted to try it out with you guys today since we were doing this kind of a full face of new stuff. Um, it is blending out really pretty. It's got a really pretty finish, a really pretty, I like the finish of it. Um, blending into my, a little bit more of my redder skin, it's not so bad. Um, wait, let me show you guys what it looks like. This is what it looks like on the back of my hand. That's what it looks like. Um, so see, it's got like, it does have a little, it has some red in it. Um, but, um, which I'm not mad about. I'd rather have the red than the really yellow because I don't do well with yellow. I mean, I have, you know, my Chanel bronzer. It's got, it's got a lot of yellow in it too. I have to be careful with stuff with a lot of yellow because it will turn my skin really, it'll give it a really ugly color. Even, especially when I'm tan, it'll really definitely do that. Um, so I have to be very careful with that. So we're just going to do a little bit. I don't want to go crazy with it today. I'm not... Um, I really want to see more what the makeup can do and stuff than with a lot of blush and a lot of bronzer. Um, so I want to see, but it's going over really beautiful over um, the um, Natasha makeup. It's going over really pretty with it. I mean, it's very, it is very, very natural. And this is the, and this is the fifth shade. So there's only one darker than this one. And it's really red, the really one. So she needs some more shade than this. She needs probably about 12 shades in this or so. Because I mean, at least I would say 10. Because she's really missing a lot in between. But this is what I think. I think she's kind of testing it on the market to see what's going to happen with it. And it's been a success. So I'm thinking she's going to eventually, she's going to come out with more shade, probably closer to summer. Um, so you might be able to get a better shade. So I would wait on this to see if they're going to come out with more shade. That's just my personal opinion. But I mean, if you guys want to check it out, I mean, it's, um, it's not too, too expensive. Um, if you guys wanted to, if you're in Sephora and you're looking for a bronze, no. she's doing a great job. It's not picking anything up. Um, I like it. I really like it. Um, I have seen quite a few people that, that don't like it. The people that either love it or they hate it. They don't like it at all. So, I mean, but, but I'm liking it. It looks really smooth. I mean, I'm really impressed with it. But I will say the lighter shades, 
you guys, they're, the lighter shades are, mm, they're, they're yellow. They're very biscuit driven yellow looking colors. So I don't know. I mean, we'll just have to, I mean, I, if I would, I would definitely, if you're lighter skin, I would wait. And then if you're darker skin, you may like that really dark, the darker shade, but it's just not a lot to it. Um, so, I mean, there's just, I would wait until she comes out with more shade before I would purchase it. Um, again, just to see what she does. But, I mean, but it is really pretty. I mean, I like it. We'll see what we think of it closer to the end. But so far, so good. The Natasha Denona Glam Palette. And um, I will leave a link up here if you guys want to watch me when I review this palette. This palette is not new to me. I've had it. Um, but when I got uh, got it in, um, it was in November or so. But, um, but we are going to go into the cream blush here. I'm going to do a little bit of that. We're going to do a little bit of that over top of the bronzer before we do the powder. It's so pretty. It's a beautiful cream blush. Um, it's almost like a very natural kind of a look. Um, it's, it's a really, it can almost give your skin like a little bit of a bronze almost if you're like um, a little bit more on the lighter side. Now this is the light palette. Um, the darker one does have a little, the blush is a little bit more darker. Um, but it is a really beautiful cream to powder um, blush. So it does do a really good job. And this, and guys, this highlight, woo, let me tell you, this highlight, she is the bomb. It is like probably, it was one of my favorite highlights last year. I absolutely loved it. When I got it, I was like, holy crap. It's like one of her best highlights that I've ever, you know, out of all the highlights that she's had, I was definitely impressed with this highlight. The um, Invisible HD Face Powder. I got this in the shade like medium. Um, it comes just like this with Natasha's logo on it, and then it's got the white lid to it. I will tell you guys that this, the white lids I've noticed already with like the concealers and stuff, they get really dirty really fast, because if you've got any makeup on your hands, it's going to get all over it. That's the one thing I don't like about her packaging. It looks really clean, but the white is just very, it gets going to get dirty really, really quickly. So if you're one of those people that get really sketched out with like a lot of, like with things getting dirty really fast, you're going to be wiping it an awful lot. Um, you know, but this is what the, this is what it looks like. We're going to open it up. It doesn't come with the puff or anything in it. It just comes like this. It does have a shifter in it. So you can shift it, um, and see it has like the holes there and then you can close it as well. So you can kind of see that. So it does have a little shifter. Um, I'm going to, it, so far it looks like a pretty good, this is light medium again. I think, I forgot how many shades she has it in, but I'm going to take a little bit. We're going to put it in a cap. Um, so this is what it looks like, kind of the color. This is the what it looks like, like that. It does have talc and mica. Mica is the number two ingredient, and talc is the first ingredient. So it does have a little bit of a radiance to it. It reminds me a little bit of the um, Absolute Powder by Lancome. It looks a lot like that. It has that kind of a little bit of got like a, it's got like a little bit of a glow to it. Um, so I wouldn't say that it's like a really matte, transparent type powder. So if you're very oily. I don't know if this powder is going to be for you unless you just like one to add like a little extra glow to like the Jacqueline powders because I believe it's got that little bit because mica being number two, that's a lot of mica. That's usually, that's like the um, Huda Glow Wish powder. It's like the, it's a bit, it's up there too. So, and if you don't like talc, it, the talc is in it too. So, this may be one that's not for you. But so far, so good. I've really enjoyed it. I'm going to take a little bit of my, I'm going to take a little bit of my sponge and, oh, and I'm going to start kind of just mattifying the skin out a little bit right through here. I really like the shade. The shade is really nice. I'm going to start down here first and then we'll work our way up underneath the eyes. It's giving, definitely giving a, it's definitely looking more matte, but on camera, it's still got a little bit of that glow so I can still see a little bit and then we're going to see what it looks like up underneath the eyes. It. And then I'm going to go up under here and just tap a little bit underneath my eye area. Okay, so you guys can see that it definitely matted it down. Now, look at the difference. It did smooth it out a little bit. It's reminding me a little bit of the, um, it's reminding me a little bit of the Givenchy powder. It's reminding me a little bit of that. 
um, the way that it just feels and the way it sets. But now looking up close, it's definitely very, it's dry looking. It looks, made my, my under eye look dry. Um, and it already had like a little bit of a natural matte finish, so I don't really think you need to set the concealer. Um, but it definitely made it look a little drier, but it made it look brighter. It did brighten it up a little bit, but we're going to go back over it with setting spray in just a little bit. Um, once we get done with eyeshadow and then we'll kind of, we'll kind of see, but it definitely, um, it definitely set down everything. It definitely gives it like a little bit more of a, compared to this side, it definitely looks more, it's got a little bit more of that matte look looking at it. It looks very matte in the mirror, but in here it looks, it looks a lot more smoother, but with HD, with, you know, doing film and photography, this would be a beautiful powder. I mean, it would give a really beautiful finish because it still looks good on camera. Um, but up close, it still looks very matte. So if you're dry, I don't know. It's still kind of like you just have to be very careful with it. What we're looking like. So I did, I finished up with the Natasha liner and then I did a little bit of my, um, my D, did a little bit of the um, Dior Show Pumping Volume. If you guys have ever used this mascara before, you're supposed to pump it at the end. You want to do it very lightly. And then when you twi twist it out, you're supposed to squeeze it as it pulls out. So that way it pulls off any of the excess. This is a really good mascara. So it did, does a really, really good job. But I love the look. It looks really beautiful. I went back and sprayed over top of it with my Maybelline Glass Spray just to give it a little bit more glow to it so my skin had a little bit more radiant so now i'm all glowy and i set up my under eyes so now we are ready to move on to the natasha denona um i need a rose so we're going to start off with the lip liner first so we have the um this is the shade um daphine in the lip liner and this is the packaging it looks really really beautiful with that beautiful rose gold um I do not have a Natasha Denona lip liner. So this is my first Natasha Denona lip liner and my first Natasha Denona lipstick. I do have a gloss by her, but I don't have a lip liner and a lipstick. So I'm very, very excited to try this. Um, I've heard really good things about her lip liners and her lipsticks. So, um, so let's dive into it, shall we? This is the shade Daphne, isn't it beautiful? That is such a beautiful color. It's beautiful mine. It goes on really smooth. It's very creamy, um, but yet they, it's not too creamy where it slides around. Um, I'm very impressed. I really like it. It's a nice, it's a good lip liner. I'm, I'm definitely impressed with this. I like this. It's a, it's a good feel. I like the way that it feels. It's, it feels like it might stay on pretty good. Um, so, so far so good. So I do like that. So now let's go into the, um, this is the I Need a Rose lipstick and, um, this shade Daphne as well. Um, so let's pull her out of the box. Ooh, how pretty is that? Such a beautiful packaging. So you can see the Natasha, it's hard for the, for the pickup on the screen, but, um, so this is the whole packaging. Looks so pretty, so creamy. Ooh, that's a beautiful shade. That's so pretty. Let's swatch it and see. It's a pretty, like a nude, a nudie, pinky, almost got like a peachy undertone to it. So let's put it on and see. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Oh, that's a nice nude. That's a really good feel to it. The really, it's very creamy, very hydrating. There's a little bit of a smell. There's not much, but there's a little bit of one. It's a little bit more of a like a vanilla kind of smell. It's not anything, you know, too potent or powerful or like a rose smell or anything like that. It's really nice. It's got a really nice feel to it. It feels very creamy. It feels very nice. We have the lip gloss. So this is the I Need a Rose lip gloss. And this is in the shade Fiony. Fiony, Peony, 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 Fiony. <laughs> So this is what it looks like like this. Ooh, that is a pretty color too. I love this. It feels like a suede. It's got a suede lid to it. I like that. It's so pretty. And this is what the one looks like. And then we'll put it right up here at the top, right here with the all three of them together so you guys can kind of see it. But that is really pretty. It's got a little bit, the gloss has got a little more pink to it um, where the lipstick doesn't. So let's put a little bit over it. Ooh, that feels nice. So it just gives it like a light, a little lighter, which I like. Beautiful color combination. Ooh, I love it. I feel like I'm matching my background. 
<laughs> so pretty. Wow, that is gorgeous. Okay, so let's put on a little blush and um, a little more highlight. Why not? What the hell? And, um, you know, then we finished. What do you guys think? Isn't it beautiful? It turned out so pretty. So this is the Natasha complexion, a full face of Natasha Denona. What do you guys think? You'll have to let me know down below what you guys think. Um, so let's just kind of give a little bit of a rundown of what we used and kind of what, what we liked. Um, I have a feeling um, it's pretty much everything. There wasn't too much that I didn't like. Um, I really enjoyed the primer. The primer was really beautiful. It, it, it makes your skin feel very moist. It makes it feel very hydrated. If you're very dry or normal to dry, I think you would really like this. If you're comboed, oily, or maybe combo would be fine, oily, um, you would just have to put it in your dry spot. But it is a really good primer. It does seem like it is. Um, so both of the foundations, I mean, I really like both of them. They're both really beautiful. Um, they're both very lightweight. They're not very heavy. Um, they've got like a light to a medium coverage. You could probably build it up maybe to a light medium. Um, I don't think they're going to give you a full coverage or anything like that, but they don't have any sunscreen in it, but they give a really beautiful finish on them together. I think mixing them together was great. I think it gives you got the best of both worlds. So I really like both of these and I'll have to play with them a little bit more alone to see as well as, you know, together, but I have a feeling I'm going to be using this more together. So the concealer. So I really like the concealers. The only thing I don't like about it is this. I'm starting with this white packaging on the top because they're going to get really dirty really quick. That's just a little bit of a pet peeve. But the concealers are really nice. They're definitely a little bit more of a natural finish. They've got that natural to more of a like a light matte finish. But I'm not mad about it. Um, if I set it with a little bit of a hydrating spray, I can definitely get the result that I want because it looks really pretty with the hydrating spray spray. Um, and when I set it with that, it makes it look really glowy and pretty, which I love. Um, of course, you know, I love that highlighter. So that highlighter is really making me blingy because, you know, I go a little overboard with the highlighter, but it is so pretty. Um, so I am really enjoying the concealer. The powder, I have to play with a little bit more. Um, so far, I really like it. It's really nice. Um, I feel like I still kind of like the Givenchy a little bit better, but, um, but it's a pretty powder. I mean, it's really pretty. It is brightening. Um, it does matte out the skin. It does give it a little bit of a glow undertone to it. Um, remember, it does, the second ingredient is mica, so if you're oily, this one may not be a really good one for you, even though it's a matte. Um, it's still got that because it might have too much of a glow, too much glow to you. Um, so, I mean, but if any of you guys have this, you'll have to let me know what you think of it, but so far, this is good. Um, you know, the um, Rare Beauty Stick, we're going to have to play with it a little bit more. I'm going to have to play with this a couple more times and see what I think about it. Um, so far, it's nice. It's really pretty. It blends into the skin really pretty. Um, it's, you know, I didn't really see, like, a huge difference to it, but it I mean, it's nice. I'm, I'm in, I probably will enjoy that. Um, we already know what I feel about the Natasha Denona palette. Um, I love that. It's really beautiful. The highlighter is gorgeous. Of course, the blush and the shadows are fabulous. Um, I love the Natasha liquid liner, the micro blade. It's just gorgeous. It gets a beautiful, um, liquid line. It's pretty easy. Um, it's not easy. It's not too, um, hard to clean up if you make any kind of a mistake or anything. Um, you know, the Dior mascara I've had, um, you know, the lips are just wow. The lips feel so good, so creamy. Um, this is a really beautiful combination together. They're really pretty. Um, you know, I think, I don't know if these are limited edition or not. I'm not really sure, but it is a really beautiful overall look together. I went back over it with just a little bit of more blush, just to give me a little more blush. I went into my Patrick Ta and did a little bit more of the sheath vibrant shade. I did a little bit of that over just the flush of the cheeks to give me just a little bit more of it. But you guys, I love it. It's such a beautiful look. I'm, I'm really going to enjoy it. It's very, very nice. So anyway, um, you know, let me know what you guys think down below. Are you, do you use any of these? Do you have any of this? You know, let me know below and, you know, and I will just thank all my little gay bits, you know, my, uh, Lane, uh, Laney, she like giving you guys the name, the gay bit, the gay, the gay, I've got the gaybers and the gay bits. <laughs> You guys don't have to let me know if you guys like that gamers or gamers. I don't know, but um, but that's like a beehive, you know, like Beyonce has a beehive. I have I have gay bits and gamers. Um, so anyway, you know, thank you guys so so much. You know, remember, you know, be safe, be strong, be proud, stand tall, love yourself. Make sure to reach out to somebody today and tell them that you love them today because um, you know, 
life is way too short. And, you know, also make sure that you give a little kindness today. Show somebody a little kindness today. You know, cause a little thank you. A little, some, just be nice. Some of the little nice little kindness can go a very long way. And, you know, with that said, guys, thank you so much for staying with me and hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate it. And we will see you again in the next episode. Peace out. Take care. Bye.